This will be a spiral for, on a sarong. It's a different type of spiral though. And this sarong is made from rayon. It's much thinner than most cotton materials and that means that you need to be a little more careful because you can punch through the fabric pretty easy. So to start I'm going to find the center So I bundle both ends. And then come back and bundle the edges like I'm folding it. And then I have the center right here, which I can just mark with a washable marker. this out. Larger than the table I'm using at this point, so this one takes a little bit of effort to lay out. Basically pinch in the center and begin spiraling. So it is such a thin material, it usually works quite well. You don't have to help it too much as you're doing spiral. Let's catch these edges. And that's spiraled up. Then we just need some rubber bands. Make sure everything goes through the center. And then just keep going until you feel comfortable that it's not going to fall apart when you're working with it. That should be enough. And I try to correct the back a little bit just so that they all go to the center so I have an easy place to know where my center point is. And next that'll be dyed. Okay, it's time to add the dye. Now this is a fire or a flame-like design. For that I use Better Black Lemon Yellow. Chinese red, fire red, deep orange, and an orange crush. So we'll start with black to define the actual lines are. We'll do one there. Well, there's going to be black throughout the design as well, so it's okay if it bleeds over. Actually, all the colors will be mixed all the way across. This is just a little extra to help define the actual spiral. Okay, once we have the black, be sure to wipe off the spoon in between each color. 
I use orange, no, sorry, deep orange as the basis for the flames. So the majority of the dye that I'm going to use is orange. I'm going to apply that to each of the segments. Now since this is rayon, it is quite a bit thinner than cotton, so it doesn't take as much dye to absorb to the same level as cotton shirt would. Okay. Now I go with the lemon yellow. Try to apply that to closer to the center. For the thicker mount, and then I will lightly go over the remainder. go with the Chinese red. And that is applied mostly to the outer areas. The Orange Crush and the Fire Red will only be used on the back side after it's flipped along with the Lemon Yellow and Black again. So just add the ice. Okay. Ice is in and that just needs to melt and then we'll flip it and do the other side. Okay, this one's mostly melted, so we'll go ahead and flip it. This might make a mess. Okay. Now this hasn't come through as much. It's a lot of material. Now I'm not going to apply the black lines on the second side, but I am going to scatter black around. I know that looks like a lot, but it should be okay. We'll go with the deep orange. And cover the majority of this side with that deep orange. It's the primary color I use for the, the fire colors. Okay. Lad fire red. Actually going to do some little arcs or lines. It's really hard to arc something as you're tapping a spoon and then a little bit else that's done from a higher position so that it's more scattered. Then yellow. And that will be 
The yellow clumps more, so it's harder to do in small amounts. So it's quite well covered, actually. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of the orange crush, just to fill in where I missed on the deep orange. Here along some edges. Not normally don't use this too much for fire or flame type of look. So we'll see how this goes this time. And then a little bit through out. And that's it. Just need to add ice. And then to the top of that I will add some soda ash. and let it sit until it melts, and then wait 24 hours for wash out. It's been about 24 hours, time for the wash out. Okay, you can't see much in the sink, but it's the flame or fire version of a spiral. So after a couple of washes, it'll be finished and pitcher will be out there.